Good evening, everyone. Happy uh, Wednesday. I'm sorry that this is coming so late. Uh, last night, um, stuff kind of went crazy. All of a sudden, uh, my uh, great aunt, who lives next to me, took a fall, um, scuffed up her shoulder, scuffed up her knee, um, actually broke her nose in the fall, um, but had to we had EMS, fire EMS came, um, so that kind of just took the whole evening, um, away, so apologize for this getting out so late, but, uh, if you guys would just be in prayer that, uh, she recovers well, she is back home now, um, but, uh, just be in prayer that she's not in too much pain, um, pain meds and rest are probably going to be her best friend the next couple days, a uh, couple weeks, so, uh, just be in prayer for her, um, that she could heal, um, and all of that good stuff. Um, come on, buddy. I was going to try, and I haven't actually formally introduced you guys. Um, let's see if I can get him real quick. I don't think, I don't know if he'll come to me or not, really. Come here, bud. He thinks I'm, pl he thinks I'm playing. This is King, um. You guys can formally meet him on me. This is King. Oh, he's going to run off. Anyway, um, he is, vet thinks he's about nine months old, but uh, he was running around the fireworks stand. Um, so they believe that he got dumped, uh, or we believe that he got dumped. So uh, I befriended him. Pepperonis will do that. Um, but we quickly became best buds. He's actually named after a firework um, because we thought that was fitting. So his name is King, uh, but he is, uh, he's my best buddy. I had no plans on getting a dog this soon, but uh, I love him already. Um, and so I, I'm excited to see um, what adventures uh, we will get into. He's sweet as can be. He loves to snuggle. So uh, I'm sure that he will be in many more videos, um, but you guys have formally met him now, so uh, his name is King, so if you see him running around, that's who it is. So let's dive in. Today's title is Lasting Legacy. It says, The king stood by his pillar and renewed the covenant in the presence of the Lord to follow the Lord and keep his commands, statutes, and decrees with all his heart and all his soul, and to obey the words of the covenant written in this book. That's 2 Chronicles 34, verse 31. It says, what is your family known for? Maybe your family all play musical instruments, go to the same college, or have red hair. Or perhaps people with your last name are famous for being athletic, big eaters, or celebrating strange holidays. So, the Houston name um, in the outdoor community, obviously, is very well known. Um, you know, being related to Jimmy Houston, that's what whenever people, especially people that... Um, are local around here that have never met me or that meet me for the first time or whatever. And I say, my name's Jordan Houston. And they're like, are you related to Jimmy? And I'm like, yes, yes, I am. Um, don't get me wrong. I love it. But, you know, that's, that's automatically where people of mine go. It says, our families pass down certain characteristics, habits, and values. That's called a legacy. But did you know your family can leave a spiritual legacy? Eight-year-old King Josiah's relatives left him with a tough spiritual legacy. Both his dad and grandpa were known for their evil ways. Around 16, however, something clicked in Josiah's heart, and he started learning everything he could about God. By 26, he decided to repair the rundown temple. During the rebuilding, someone found the scriptures and read them to the king. Josiah held a marathon Bible reading session, challenging everyone to commit to God. Some people come from a long line of church-going, Bible-reading Jesus believers, Jesus followers. Me. Um, others are the first and sometimes the only followers of God in their family. If that's you, take heart. God can use you to form a new spiritual legacy, one of love, selflessness, compassion, and obedience to Christ. You know, I say it all the time, we might be the only Jesus that someone sees today. Uh, we might be the only Jesus that someone sees ever it is our job to make sure 
that we are being a positive influence, a positive impact on people around us for Christ, right? Um, you know, I was blessed and blessed that I have grown up in a um, Christian family that is, you know, that is believing, that is um, just all around great about being involved, um, that support this ministry, that support me and my endeavors, um, and I'm thankful for that. Not everybody has that. And so, especially as a teacher, I try and be that person. I try and make sure that these kids know that I'm in their corner, um, that, you know, I believe in them, that I believe that they can do great things, that they can go places um, beyond what their current life situation might be. First says, Jesus, make me like Josiah, inspiring my relatives towards a relationship with you through my words, actions, and attitudes. So in other words, go be the example.